We're going to head back to the voicemail of Truth and Reason. Uh, this one with an interesting question before all this broke uh, early this afternoon. Hi, this is Mustafa, 50-year Brown fan. Uh, say what's up, guys. Uh, my question being, with all the speculation surrounding the pursuit of Deshaun Watson, uh, what do you guys feel that's doing to the mentality of Baker Mayfield? I mean, <clears throat> of course, he had a, a, a very tumultuous last season. And now, you know, with the speculation of him not being in Cleveland, what do you think that's going to do for him mentally moving forward if we decide to keep Baker Mayfield? Thank you. Well, uh, again, we found out it, it, um, it has not been good or for his mental approach uh, to being the quarterback here. Yeah, I, I, I don't know what the environment's going to be like in the stadium, too. And that's something that affects him, too. You have to worry about all of these other factors with Baker Mayfield, which is coming out. And again, the more this stuff comes out, the harder it gets to train him. Um, because it's like, yeah, if you bring Baker Mayfield back, he, you can bring him back contractually. He'll have to come back. And I promise you, he'll play if he has to be brought back because he ain't got no choice. Um, but what kind of what quality of quarterback play you go get when you know we know that the outside stuff affects him way more than it should and he's going to deal with all the outside stuff the the environment at the stadium is not going to feel like a home game for him right or at least at this point things can change by the time we get to september because it's a long way away but you know it's it's just one of those things where people try to tell us th about this with baker mayfield that hey the way he approaches this he has to mature he can't keep doing this in the NFL because it's a business in the NFL. People have said this for years about him. And we thought that he had matured in 2020. We're finding out that he just did that because they were winning. And that that's very concerning. Um, whether he comes back or not, this is a huge concern. I mean, there, when's the last time with any quarterback in the NFL we have had a situation like this? This is almost Ryan Leaf-like, right, where it's just – what in the world's going on? I mean, like Johnny Manziel was a mess for other reasons, but it wasn't because he was kicking and screaming while he was on the team. This is just odd. Um, and I, I, I struggle to find a parallel. Yeah. I, I, and, and again, uh, the one thing that you can take away from this is uh, Kevin Stefanski and Andrew Berry were telling the truth when they said that injury was not um, the only thing that was affecting the quarterback play. Um, the, the fact that they went out and, and, are looking at options, tells you they thought he was healthy enough to play better um, without question. Mm.